and they're off. So Vantrix from the deepest draw will drop in and be the bat marker straight off the bat. Strawberry Singer, one of the first to break. Fort Red also got out nicely. War Chariots in the yellow being made to work. Now settles in second just ahead of Fort Red. Grand Buys and the Blue Jacket and Red Cap in fourth. Jam Jam, all about Old Whiskey Bravo, all racing together. Bright Blue Sky just had a tough stride there trying to corner. Races at the outside of Master Vigilante. Then two lanes away to Savantrix and Lover's Lane. They the last two past the 800 meters mark. Strawberry Singer in front going a good clip by two. Fort Red a second. Then comes War Chariots who races away in third just ahead of Whiskey Bravo who's off the bridle next best is Grand Bai that comes towards the outside all about L on his heels Jam Jam green sleeves and cap Master Vigilantes in the black and white bright blue sky Lovers Lane Savantrix are still the last two 400 meters left to run War Chariot confidently ridden attacked Fort Red Strawberry Singer up the far side then comes Whiskey Bravo Master Vigilante Jam Jam all about L they further back Fort Red War Chariot then comes Master Vigilante Vigilante, Jam Jam continues to catch the eye over towards the inside. Fort Red clinging on, but Jam Jam and Master Vigilante are players. Fort Red lost it. Fort Red, the winner from Master Vigilante, then came Jam Jam. Fourth is a photo between Ward Chariots and All About L. So the winner races in between horses, the white sleeves and caps Fort Red sticking to his task. He's as honest as it comes up front from a handy spot. Now a seven-time winner from 57 starts. Career earnings go well past half a million rand. Shows uh, what a soldier he's been. And Fort Red takes up the finale here at Hollywood Bets Durban. For one more to go from Turfentine. There's a big meeting tomorrow at Fairview. Hollywood Bets Gravel on Monday, Tuesday yeah, at the VAR. Wednesday, again in KZN, Hollywood Bets Gravel. Thursday at Turfentine, Friday, Fairview. Back here next Saturday for the Western Cape Phillies Championship. A grade two at Hollywood Bets Durban. Well, that'll be alongside a meeting in Maritzburg at Hollywood Bets Scott. Race eight, Hollywood Bets Bright Future Class Four. Over the 12.50 has been won by number two, Fort Red. He most certainly is a, a horse that uh, you always have to keep one eye on. And uh, well done to Aviva Binga. He receives his thousand rand. Thank you to Cape Racing and Hollywood Bets. With me is Rob Barrett. Rob, well done. Thank you very much. I know you always say you just got to keep an eye on him because he's a he's a monster and some days he, he fluffs his lines and other days he surprises. Yeah, um, he's actually, he's getting a bit more consistent in his old age, but his last run you could just put a line through. He, he dropped out from a bad draw and he hated it, he pulled and here he's got to be handy or else he, he just throws a towel in with the character he is. So he's got to be handy here and when the field came out, I said to Mike, I said, I fancy me a six time winner against young horses. It's it, at the weights, he's a big runner. It's also nice, I see the whole team's gathered for the a late uh, day at Durbanville, unusual. Yeah, um, we we thought the filly would win the sixth race um, and she ran a howler, but she's pulled up with all mucus, so coming out of her nose, so we'll have to pull, but she's probably got a virus, so that explains that run. Um, but once again, Big Red's pulled us out, out the doo-doo. <laughs> <laughs> well done for the win. Thank you, and well done to Ashton, great ride. Um, and to my granddad and David. David can't make it down, he's done his coughing. That's why he sat upstairs, so well done to him. And well done to the boss, great win. Thank you. Well done. Cheers. There you go, that's Rob Barrett uh, holding the fort. Next up, Ashton Aries is going to join me. And uh, Ashton, well done for the win. Thank you, Vicky. So you took him down nice and quiet. He's a very big, strong horse. Yes, he's very. Um, uh, he just told me, Rob told me, just to have a, a good old going down on him to the start, and obviously took him slowly down to the start, and he went a good race today. You happy? Uh, obviously, uh, coming down to the Cape quite a bit, and with regards to these winners, you're taking over quite well. Yes, happy. Obviously, you have to be happy, and obviously you can't win every time you get on a horse. But I'm just be thanking to Mr. Stewart for the opportunity and to Rob. Well done, Ashton. Thank you. Yeah, next up. Uh, Paul Barrett's going to come across and chat to me, and uh, I heard that uh, Paul Barrett typically gets uh, altitude sickness up here at Hollywood Bed's Durbanville, but uh, well then for the win. Thank you very much, Vicky. Um, the old man came through for us. We've had a disappointing day. Um, you know, having a favourite and running last is not a nice day, but uh, he's made up for it. Uh, he's a soldier. We'll keep him going. He'll, he'll never leave the farm. And But I'll just say now, uh, well done to my partner. Uh, well done, uh, Mike, uh, Robert, and the staff there. Uh, they do a good job with what horses they've got, but uh, keep it rolling. And it's nice to see that uh, everything's livening up now at uh, the races. It's, it's a good vibe. It is a good vibe, and I know uh, with regards to you know a casual Saturday, it's quite busy upstairs. Yeah, quite busy. Um, 
No, it's good. That, that, that's what you want. And, and I, I'm sp impressed with, like, the downstairs now. You know, it's somewhere nice to sit where they can watch. It's, it's just very, very good. It's even well. better with the wind. Yeah, well, uh, well done to all them in charge, you know, um, Greg and, uh, um, uh, you know, I forget names. <laughs> Justin. <laughs> Justin and all them, well done. Keep it going, boys, and uh, hopefully... We in the near future, we might get another talk. <laughs> well done. Thanks, Vicky. <laughs> well done uh, to Paul Barrett. And uh, as he said, likes to um, find his way to the winner's box. And uh, with regards to Fort Red, most certainly rounded the day off well for the Mark Stewart Yard. So well done to all of them. Clive of Flestad for breeding and a lovely way, as I said, to round off uh, the day at Hollywood Bets Well, Thank you very much for joining us. To all the crew behind the scenes, thank you for making it possible and uh, keeping an eye on all of us. And uh, thank you to all of you for joining us. We'll see you again next week, Saturday, which uh, will prove to be a lovely race meeting once again at the country course, Hollywood Bets Durnbull. But uh, before we close off, MJ standing by with uh, Richard Free, who was uh, aboard War Chariot. <laughs>